Hello, welcome to the Prosperity Alchemist channel. I'm David Wong, and in this lesson, we are going to share with you the secrets of the yin and yang, how to balance and strengthen your mind and body. So if you look at our prosperity pyramid diagram that I've created, you can see that at the bottom, we have life force. Then with a good, strong life force, it gives you health of your mind and body, which is the yin and yang. And with health of the mind and body, now you can develop success skills and tools that you can use to move forward in your life. And you do that enough times, repeat the process of success, and you will start to gain prosperity. So we're going to go and focus on the middle part, which is the yin and yang, how to balance your mind and body, why it's so important. Okay, so stay tuned, and we'll get into that. So what I've done is I created a very simple diagram that will show you exactly what you need to do to go from wherever you are right now to where you want to be. This is why we call this channel Prosperity Alchemist. I discovered the science and the knowledge and the spiritual aspects of gaining prosperity and achieving prosperity in your life. So let's go with this diagram. So let's start with a triangle. Most people are at the bottom, to be honest. This is where most people are. They're at the bottom. And this is where you want to go, to the top. And there's not that many people there. Now on the top it is abundance. And the symbol I use for that is infinity. Because nature is infinite. The universe is infinite. And there's an infinite amount of resources, of wealth, of love, of success that's available to you and to the entire universe. So what is prosperity? This is prosperity. Well, for me, it is being healthy, being happy, feeling peace, having well-being from the inside and on the outside. Having money, not having to worry about finances. Having friends, having family. And being able to live out your life purpose, to live the life and to become the person that you were always meant to become. So that for me is what prosperity is. So that may be different for you. So you just write down whatever you want on prosperity. So as you follow me along, the basis for gaining prosperity and to move up in life is you need life force. What is life force? We'll get back to that in a second. But generally, simply said is life force is the fuel. Life force is the fuel. And without the fuel, you cannot create any kind of energy. Let's continue with the rest of the diagram. So here's a circle. This is the yin yang. On one side is yin, one side is yang. So let's call it health for your mind. And then here's health for your body. The mind is internal, the body is external. When your mind is healthy, the mind, body becomes healthy. When your body becomes healthy, your mind becomes healthy. They are connected, they are one. So in order to be healthy, you want to have healthiness in the heart, body, mind, and soul. And together that forms your balance. Now once you have the balance, then you can start thinking and looking at achieving success. What can you do to achieve a success? And in success, I've created something called a success diamond. It is success. And there are five things you need in order to achieve success. One for each point on the diamond. And then when you've done success and you've achieved success long enough and repeat it enough times, then you will achieve prosperity. So you look at the left here, you start with the fuel. Well, your mind and body, the health of your mind and body, when that is in sync, isn't that like your engine? So you have fuel, life force, that powers your engine. And from your, if you have a powerful engine, then you can put it into a vehicle let's say a car, and that's your success. 
Those are your skills. Okay, so success also comes with skills. So you need success skills, both externally and internally. And that becomes your vehicle and direction to get to prosperity. So like I said, again, first you need the fuel, which is life force. How do you get life force? Well, I can tell you what is draining your life force. That's probably the first step. So there are two things that are happening. There's life force drains, leakages. And then there's life force builders. There's life force attractors. So what are some life force drainers? We'll get to in, into that in the next video, but this is just an overview of how to achieve prosperity. I know this is a very, very messy diagram, but I'll post up a nicer looking one later that you can download. So once again, you start with fuel and that's your life force. Then you have an engine which is health of your body and mind. And from that, with a strong engine, you can now put that into your vehicle and make it go faster. Because this is going uphill. Why is it going uphill? It's because there's a lot of energy drain. So with a strong engine and a well-tuned vehicle, you can go faster and you can maneuver the obstacles easier and you can have a more safe way of getting there just like a car that has better handling that has faster acceleration and that has more safety having the success skills is what's going to get you those things and of course if you don't know the direction that you want to go then there's no point of having a powerful vehicle. But once you have all these things in mind, prosperity will come to you naturally. It will just be a natural process of all these things that you have underneath. And it all begins with life force. Now, there's many people who gain success. They get a lot of money or they get a lot of fame, or they may be even very healthy, but they forgot about the life force. And a lot of times when they lose some success, they lose some money, they lose some health or fame, then they collapse because they don't have the life force and the balance of the mind body to support the feeling, to support that being of prosperity. So you see how it's very important to have, first of all, life force that gives you the balance of your mind and body. Or you may see people who have strong bodies but their minds are not balanced. Their minds are not strong. Um, so they need to work on balancing their mind. Or you may have someone who is very strong minded, but not, but their body is weak. So you're only limiting yourself to what kind of success and prosperity you can gain when you're out of balance. But once again, none of this really matters. You probably won't achieve this prosperity or success in a lasting way unless you have mind and body balance and also the life force behind that. So that's my prosperity pyramid. And I hope that helps you out to gain clarity and to gain perspective and to know exactly what you need to do to gain prosperity in your life. And in the future, you're gonna learn about some ways to make that process even faster using some technologies 
that I've discovered. So in the next few lessons, I'm gonna show you how to actually generate that life force that you need in order to get the feel you need to start the process of the prosperity pyramid. So I'm the prosperity alchemist, David Wong. Comment on this video, subscribe to this channel for more lessons like this, and click the notification bell so you can watch the lesson, be the first to watch, watch the lesson so you don't miss anything. And um, make sure you uh, share with your friends too. So this is a Prosperity Alchemist channel. I'm David Wong, and we'll see you soon.